WJBW is made possible by sausage. Stick one in your mouth. I hear a little bit of feedback in the mic. Hey, welcome to uh, the JBW Web DBWDD.com or RevRevs Show. Oh, yes! <laughs> Fucking asinine. Can you give me a message? I love you! Call at you. Ow! Oh, girl. <laughs> Seriously. Hello, Papa. Some shit like Some that. Shit you gotta like do that. the Rocky Mountain Ride. Rocky Mountain. Ride. What's up? Welcome back. WJBW Networks proudly presents on the weekly. It's live. It's internet radio. Yeah. And it's the JB Rev Show. I am at Radio JB Web on I'm, the Twitter. By I'm at the Rev J Dude uh, Rev J E R R on the Twitter. That's the Reverend across the way. What up, legendary cat? How the hell okay. you been, buddy? You, you're man. welcome back. Welcome back into the studio, man. Thanks, man. It's been a long time. In, man. It has been a while. Been yeah. Well, it's been two weeks. Up, we're coming up on a uh, WJDW summer tour. We're going to announce some cool stuff uh, going on. It'll probably take next week off, right? It's a uh, day after Memorial Day. So, uh, in the meanwhile, we got uh, tons of live awesome. content, of course. Generously, I will say. Uh, it's good to be generous. I think that yeah. uh, creates more generosity out in the world. If you're greedy, that creates more greediness. So, yeah. Like, right? Like the little baby. Yeah, yeah like the baby's it. Uh, about 7.15, I got a call with Jose Hanau. Yeah? Hanau. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hanau uh, Contemporary hey, Art uh, Gallery out there. Awesome. Yeah, it's out there. Uh, so we're going to talk with him. And then 8 o'clock hour, it's Marty Grosso. Uh, Marty. From A Feasting Beast. Oh, yeah, man. Some pretty hardcore uh, metal we're going to get totally. later in the uh, edition. But in the meanwhile, of course, we open up the phone lines. And now I'll tell you what, this yeah. 407-906-9328 <laughs> is also a text line. So you can also use that as a damn text uh, if you Send want. You want to text. text us topics about uh, Trump and the losers and the, uh, oh, the outdoor fringe is going on. I wanted to oh, say, wow. out there, Lock Haven uh, Park. So uh, you don't need any kind of ticket. That's totally free out there, baby. We talked about that last totally. year. Uh, tonight, what is it? They're doing comedy out there tonight. Yes. So, Shout uh, out to go out Jessica Pauly. She got check. the flu today. Uh, yeah, well, she won't be, and people yeah. feel better. Oh, and I saw it was Consuelo Bellini's birthday today. Her birthday, that's right. Yeah, we were just talking about her like a week ago. Anyway, but uh, that's exactly yes. what we do. We uh, come here every single week to spray love all over your face. And, uh, you know, because I think that's what's missing. People bust their ass, and when they do, they get on this show, right? Awesome. And uh, we fucking say, you guys are great. Okay, you know, keep it, keep it up. Keep, keep don't, it. Keep it. Good. Don't let keep shit. It. Yeah, because sometimes recognition uh, can be more powerful of an incentive and a motivator um, than money at times, yeah. I think. You totally. know, uh, but it depends on who you are, right? You want to get the money, then get the recognition, or get yeah. the recognition, then get the money. You know, I, I guess everybody's put together who cares about the different money? out there. As long as you enjoy what you're doing. There, that's kind of my sentiment. You know? I want to be, uh, and we, uh, you know, seven years now, uh, coming up on eight, the eighth season will be out in September. And we got some cool, that's uh, season Ocho. And, I've been part of two now, right? Two years. You're coming like on that. three episodes. Yeah, you're three, yeah. three seasons. So wow. uh, what I'm saying is this exercise of coming in here and dumping praise on people and, yep. you know, making sure that we're, you know, paying, yeah, yes, you know, we don't want you to buy anything, you know. The concept yeah, is, to, is, is to share. Is to share. We're not trying. Yeah. I've spent thousands of dollars on you people. I believe in you. <laughs> I keep doing it. Yeah. I've spent thousands of dollars on you so far. <laughs> I spent yeah, thousands yeah, of hours. Yeah. Well, you know. When How you much put, do you get an hour? Hold on. Yeah, we need to figure that out. Hold on. This is not going to make it back to me. Get, yeah. Get, let's see. Uh, the intern over there should be keeping up with all the uh, the numbers for me on that. <laughs> there you go. I guess that's what you do. 
Yeah. That, anyway, I didn't need the uh, the Reverend of the golf the, clap, the AK, <laughs> the what, the AK <laughs> doing the uh, okay. Nevin's, uh, impersonation. Yeah, I've sold that over in Taiwan. That laugh is huge. I Look, bet. <laughs> when they hear that on Taiwanese radio, man, that's a, that's a big that's hit. A, that's a cue to call. Yeah, uh, that is cue anyway. to call. <laughs> Fifth caller wins. Cue to call when you hear. Callous. <laughs> Give you away fifth color. Uh, but I do uh, want to say that, uh, you know, the people that are out there today and all the rich people, I think a good question anybody should ask anybody is, would you die for America? Mm. If you can look at a person and say, probably that selfish prick would not <laughs> do that, mm -hmm. then that's what that's what we're talking about. When America was great, it was everybody's working together. However, there were still despots of the dream of unity and that's what i see as this country is uh, you know diverse that's really what america's supposed to mean so it's like the Everybody's there's out. one group of people selling a dream to another group of people going to burn your hand there buddy hey that's hey, just a, so but like, hey there's it, one everyone's so, out to get everyone else it's, it, it, it seems like it yeah, is it's everyone's never going to be divided right let's just get together there and, you and go. be one i mean we're all uh, people exactly you know, and we're like all that. different. I like that. The we more can't make, come together. Yes. I mean, it's really simple. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Just unify. And, and to that know. point, I will say we pay, play people's original music uh, on the weekly. I have a, it's got to uh, be original. Uh, original, original music submission at nope. WJBWNetworks.com. Uh, and guess what? This week, uh, of course, later in the episode, we've got some real hardcore metal. Uh, we're going to play some Thrill Kill Cult. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to stream that live. Uh, Remember talking we, to Groovy Man? Yeah, we can. I do. Yeah, he I was, do. He was and badass. That's why I think we should do that it. That guy was awesome. We should just do it. He is awesome. And Yeah, he was cool. Yes. Uh, it, it, <laughs> Where is he right now? He's he, on his bicycle. He's, he's oh. totally on, a, and he just won a. Uh, okay, let's. Oh, anyway, the point uh, of hey, all that. Yeah, Kevin I'm Means you're doing and that, the so Volks. You don't have to do that. Here's Holy Roller. Holy Roller. Dig it. We'll be right back. Yeah.
People would really prefer that. That's right. Hey, That's what's up? right. This is the JB Rev Show. Welcome back to it. Uh, we do it every week. Talk with talented people. Uh, and yeah. this week, uh, we have a really cool guy uh, who's who's got a great backstory. Everybody, I think, has a great backstory. But not everybody. Uh, I want to welcome to the call uh, Jose Hanau, uh, Hanau uh, Art uh, Contemporary. Oh, there you go. You've got the clapping. I think my clapping sounds better. Yeah. Uh, hey. There you go. We right. need a lot welcome of to the call, guy. Jose. How the heck are you doing tonight, buddy? I'm doing good, guys. How you doing? Rock and roll. Great, great. Uh, we're doing great. I love what you're doing out there at the uh, at, at the at the gallery slash art space. Uh, and uh, what I'd love to learn, you know, is maybe learn a little about your background uh, and then kind of hear how the origins of this this whole place came to be. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. Man. Um, so I guess I've I've been drawing my entire life, but um, the after military, it's funny. Before you go into the military, you're all smart face and, and right. <laughs> I don't know, kind of <laughs> bright eyed and bushy tailed. <laughs> you go and then you uh, uh, you get to see what thug life's all about, and then you come out and you're like, uh, "What? Eh, I'll pass on the thug life." <laughs> right. I started taking uh, thug life. I, I kind of started taking art more seriously and and um, drawing and painting and going to school. I used my GI Bill. I went to uh, Valencia and just that's the regular track out here. That's great. Um, so you're homebred. Yeah. Homebred. Wait, how long have you been in Orlando? I think I think twelve years now. I mean, I don't really uh, feel like doing the math, but I think about 10, 12 years, cool. something like that. Okay. Right awesome. On. Okay. Cool. So I love. I lo- yeah. So you know the community here is uh, very ripe for um, and engaging. I guess for you know things to come about. Totally. Yeah, 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 hell so yeah. A fertile I mean, besides ground. the yeah. fact that over 30 million people come to Orlando every year, um, I think the city is just hungry for it. You know, ever since totally. we opened, uh, mm-hmm. um, people just seem pretty excited about the space, you know, and, and, and wanting to take part. So I think the city is hungry for it, and, and I think uh, the city itself is positioned nicely to, uh, to do something good in the art, uh, in, in the art field because... Uh, you know, right now we keep breaking our own record. Your records? Are you there? Oh, I'm sorry. I just lost the call with them. Awesome. Wow. Okay. Okay. So please call me back. Uh, and uh, let me, let me, pro- yeah, let me properly. <laughs> wow. You press one wrong button here. And uh, this is how you say his name. Uh, no, not that. That's not. Uh, Hanau. Joel Hanau. No. Jose. Jose. Hanau. Jose. Or Jose, Joe. No. Yeah. Uh, Jose, Jose hey, please no. call us back. Uh, hold on. Let me message him here. But uh, have you ever been out there? Let me. And what I'm going to well, do. Well, that's is, what I was going to ask. Uh, no, I have not, actually. Where is the location? Um, you said it's uh, the corner of. Um, I think it's kind of College Parky area. Okay. Uh, right. okay so, for, oh, thank goodness. Uh, uh, hopefully, this is Jose. Hey. Okay, yeah, I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, I pressed yeah. the wrong awesome. button on my end. Uh, there you go. Everything's live. Yay, we're going to yeah. keep it in. <laughs> we're we're going to keep it in. Thank you so much for calling back. But I, I forgot exactly where uh, we got cut off. But um, We were talking about where exactly is the location. Yeah. Oh, so the location, man. We're, uh, we're about a mile north of College Park Okay. on, on Edgewater okay. Drive. All right. Okay. So we're, we're just off of Edgewater Drive. Edgewater Drive and Lee Road. It's where it just starts to get industrial there. Okay. Uh, on Edgewater okay. Drive. Yeah, so we have about 4,000 square foot facility. Wow, uh, that's great. We have great. two stages, one indoor, one outdoor. Uh, we do a lot of uh, music events and, and, and art events. We switch up the gallery every uh, yeah. four to six weeks, depending on how how big the name of the artist is. Uh, okay. We try to hold on to them as long as we can. What's your capacity there? Um... I'm not sure, you know. I, I don't. Have you seen? I, uh, wait, is, well, you got to know the, a roundabout. On, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> well, like, have you? Uh, is is it the place uh, right up from uh, what is that bombshells or whatever? Uh, with yeah, kind of the yeah. Tobar esque. I saw some Tobar esque stuff pop up. Uh, uh, there is. Yeah. Is that right? Is that's it? A, that's the place. Yeah. That that is the place. Oh, the place? oh my so god! The, I pass that every day. So the know? capacity there has got to be what? Like you know, at least a hundred people. Yeah. I would think more than that, wouldn't it? Well, I just said at least. Oh uh, yeah, no, definitely, definitely more, than, definitely more than a hundred people. Um, I don't want to spit out numbers and right, right. Get myself right. Yeah, no, 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 no worries. Here, but yeah, we've, yeah. Had, we've had a lot of people. Uh, we have the backspace and it's too big. 
there's That's a, a great large spot rolling too. gate. So, um, nice. so it works out nicely with the indoor outdoor stage. And stuff. Right on. Yeah, and and that almost good, good group of people out here. And and that almost kind of reminds me of um, you know something that would really be kind of right downtown Mills Fifty District because that vibe is there. But what I love is that it's spread out <laughs> right into the suburbs more uh, into an area there that was I think a previous just a gallery space. I don't know what was there before. But uh, what I love, man, is that, so so you kind of got together and said, "Hey, we're we're going to do this. Are, are you guys going to be a nonprofit or or what's the what's the goal with what what you're doing?" Uh, no, creating no, a not, venue space and art space in Orlando. Yeah, we're, well, we're not a nonprofit. Most of the galleries out here right now are nonprofits, and, and um, okay, you know, we don't want to be dependent on on the state or the local municipality or anything to pay the bills. Right, right, right. Um, totally, so totally. Man. We, you know, we try to we, we try to make our own way by by totally. kind of like energizing. The creative scene and, and, and trying that, to create a splash, you know, and that's, that's awesome. badass. That's why we're having you on, dude. Like shine, shine light on you doing stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. The other, the other way, you kind of got to grease the wheels a lot. You got to write the rub, rub the right elbows. You got to talk to the right people and whatever. And we just want to go direct to the source, to the people, and try to, you know, do some cool things that they're gonna really, really vibe with and enjoy. You know, hell yeah, in one way or another. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and and maybe give us a good example of uh, what what were some of the recent uh, events like? I th- I think I saw something on pa- uh, Facebook there where uh, it was almost actor esque, uh, and then also music. I don't know. And I was like, what's wow. going on out what? there? Yeah, I know. I was like, yeah, it, it was real oh, free will. So much stuff. Oh. I, I, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even. Let's see. Um, I mean, art-wise, we've brought in some of the best in the nation. We had wow. even a sale, which a quick Google search, quick Google search will bring results like uh, considered by many to be the nation's most important figurative artist. Wow. We brought him down See. here for his first uh, working visit to Orlando. Incredible! Wow. Um, we uh, we put together a really fantastic show with. Uh, uh, Matthew Cornell and David Eichenberg, which are a couple other giants, like Jeez. giants in, in, the, in the national art so, scene. Um, also, Patrick McGrath from Texas, okay. Carlos Barbarino. Like we brought in a ton of yeah, amazing that's a ton artists of from Orlando. Yeah, heat and, and um, weight. Um, in music, you know, we've we've also we've also put together a lot of really cool music events. Uh, we had. Uh, Nico is here, put together an event which which had an amazing turnout. Uh, he's phenomenal. He's uh, he's signed by uh, like a hip hop legend. Who is this? Um, uh, I'm wearing a film with me right now. Oh, don't worry. No uh, worries. Don't worry. Back to me. Talib we... Kweli. You know Talib Kweli? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Well, well, he's been on tour. He was on tour with Talib Kweli for I don't know months. And then when he got back to Orlando, they did a they did a show here in the place See? of Pack. Incredible. Uh, nice. So Nico Phenomenal. is, he, he's fantastic. <laughs> See, uh, but, I mean, there's really great musicians, like local music musicians oh, yeah. here as well. Yes, there are. Um, so, I mean, so Sunday I, River and Fayroy, um, they're some amazing bands. Uh, they have Grace and Charnock in common there. I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but they've no. got a radio play, mm-hmm. and they're amazing. No, see, um, and I, I love this being a conduit, and you know, I mean, let's talk uh, kind of after this because I really, you know, exactly what we do here every week is, uh, you know, I have an open voice for the people, and I love yeah. uh, it's Hanau Center dot com. We are speaking with Jose Hanau, uh, but if you uh, can Google, you want to do Google it, that right it's, now. Uh, but the website is H E N A O Center, the word Center C E N T E R dot com, and uh, Jose's yeah, on the line, uh, but you you. You, yeah. you rock, man. You do, man. Um, and I love that uh, you're able to connect with us because I, I think it's been a, you know, I was asking you perpetually for a little while. And uh, I guess that's one of my, uh, you know, not, not not that it's a secret, but uh, that's kind of an attribute. Secret, you just keep secret. going. You know, you just keep asking and right. <laughs> you just saying no. Yeah. And well, then the saying yes, way, right? Man. You have to be that way with, with yeah. anything Persistence. that you're doing. You know, you just got to. That's right. You just got to keep moving and keep trying. And the second and, you stop, you know, it dies. And that's why we I'm like. Same way here. Yeah, that's why we like what you're doing, man. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. 
and it's nice to have another nice venue in town well you know for cool artists and and yeah and and that's and that's a good call out maybe go through the uh, the website the facebook page check it out because um as you realize you know the the venues here in orlando are important and uh the more uh credence and credibility you know anyone can um you know give to a location like we interviewed tommy stinson and he he was just at the social right so i mean it's kind of that distinction uh, now is orlando is uh, now that it's more a destination uh, different locations get more validity so i think what you're doing is awesome we yep. want to throw away totally. nick her light people up awesome. to uh Hanau contemporary uh, contemporary center excuse me um hey buddy i know that i want to keep and respect uh time and everything but you got a, a, another minute or two for a couple stories or yeah, yeah, that's all right. Okay. okay. So cool. So um so are you are what kind of things do you want to do with this space eventually like uh I'm just throwing out like crazy neon maze game or something like that. Like uh, is there some funny that you say that man, oh, really? cuz there's there's actually a um there's a there's a group of local artists that are going to put together a uh um a glow in the dark mural contest some See, kind of prize. Cool. That's cool. Wow, um, and that's got that's that's got some great. Um, yeah, that's got some juice. That's right got there. like a. It, it looks like it's going to be well attended. Just right. just just off of Facebook, it looks like there might be a couple hundred people here. Well, there you go. Um, so uh, so and, and, that's coming up in the in the next few weeks, I think. Exactly. And uh, the website is right there. The email sign up. I suggest people do that uh, as well. Uh, Artapalooza Orlando. Uh, fresh produce, Orlando. These are some of the things that are upcoming. Yeah, the Hanau Contemporaries. That's right. Incandescence on the twenty fourth. So hey, June Jose. is a great month. Um, yeah, J- uh, the Reverend over there is. Man, I just can't thank you enough, dude. I, I wish you nothing but uh, mass success with this, bro. Yeah. Oh no, man. Thank you guys, man. Thank you guys, and, and yeah, for, been, for maintaining contact, man, and wanting right to check on. in. I really appreciate it, man. It means a lot. Cool, cool. Been nice talking, Jose. So, um, uh, speaking with uh, Jose Hanau, um, give me a minute there, Reverend. I want to do. I I do want to say that it kind of reminds me. You remember where uh, Visage was? Yeah, totally. In that vicinity, Uh, yeah, kind of where he's at right there. I mean, just kind of representing that. You know. That 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 feel of the day or what have you, but uh, hey, buddy, I want to thank you so much uh, for giving us some time to call in. Uh, really appreciate it. You, Rocky, want to throw people your way? Any closing thoughts or sentiments? Then in the- no, no, uh, just thank you guys. You know, cool. I really can't think of anything you, else buddy. to say, but I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Well, hey. You rock. We're going to keep oh, yeah. Everybody's going to rock and roll. It's WJD. Hashtag. Right. For real edition. That's right. Uh, what do I got? Uh, oh, you want me to play some music after this? you have any special requests? And we want to tell, you know, if people want to send us original music, it's real simple. It's original music submission at WJBWnetworks.com. That's an email. And I want to encourage you to throw people my way as well, uh, Jose. That's right, man. Please. Oh, for sure, man. Check out Someday River and Fayroy. They're killer, man. They're uh, they're like indie rock, but they're they're sick. They got this really cool Florida kind of like uh, kind of I don't know, man. You gotta listen to it. Awesome. It's really, really fucking fantastic music. Oh, about that. Nice. Hope cool. we're not on the air. No, we are. We are. Awesome. And it's okay. Because right. actually, I'm going to go into this thrill kill cult that we That's got right. here. Cool. So uh, everybody hang tight out there. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do it. I'm going to cut us all out. We'll see you. We'll see you. We'll be in touch, Jose. Love you, buddy. Yeah, man. That was Thanks, rock buddy. and roll right there. Here's a little bit of uh, my life with the thrill kill cult. Freaky fever. Dig it, baby. Dig it. Hey, what's the call-in number? Turn the phones down. Right. We're gonna listen to this song. Four, okay, four zero seven four zero seven nine zero six nine three two eight.
que viva Thrill Kill Cult, not the entirety, yeah. not the entirety of the, uh, not the entirety of the song. That was great. Um, uh, Can I sit here? Uh, 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 all right, there you go. Hey. Oh, welcome back. It's WJBWnetworks.com, the JB Rev Show. Thanks for calling in. Who this be? Who this is? Hey, this is the Numb Mouse. The Numb Mouse. So, yeah, apparently, JB, he's telling me he's got some, what's going on with your mouth right now? Today and uh, the numbed half my face. They numbed half your face. What? <laughs> yeah. So, like, when you're talking, like, what you should be doing right now, what's it sound like? Well, it, uh, it was a little funnier a few minutes ago, but <laughs> it's kind of hard to say something. <laughs> you, know you sound like Jimmy Stewart or something. <laughs> so, in your, I feel like I'm having a stroke here. Oh, what? I can't feel half my head. Uh, uh, you should write a poem about that. <laughs> I mean, stroke it. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So you had a deep cleaning. So uh, did they put what? you out, out completely? Did they uh, put uh, a, a suppository in while you were under? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the numbies from below and lump, numbies from up top. Oh. Awesome. That's there. We <laughs> okay. Go. That, that sounds like a good sign. It's a awesome. There you go. That's perfect, man. So, how, what's the weather like there in LA today? Oh man, it's, it's a brisk and balmy seventy. Uh, is it? Canard, the Canard man out in Cali, Canard, California, Canard, California. Yeah. 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 Any good shows oh, you're oh, going yeah. going to coming up? <laughs> We're not playing to your ego oh, at all, yeah. are we? No. Hey, you, you got any shows you going coming up to? What's coming on? Oh, you got yeah. Uh, oh man! You've been uh, having quite no. an adventure this past uh, the past week. What have you done recently? Yeah, haven't you been up in uh, like? Uh, what have you done for us big, lately? Big oh, Valley yeah, Ho. Yeah. Oh. I, went, uh, I went to the L.A. Gun. Oh, uh, okay. Which were excellent with our, our good friend Johnny Martin. I know Johnny. Um, Was I, yeah, you know Johnny. Yeah, I told totally you. I sure do, man. I like Johnny. Johnny's badass, yeah. man. That's and, cool. And then I also went and saw uh, Com Trues as well. Com Trues. Nice. Come true, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, yeah. Tr- come like true, yeah. Okay, that's Looks cool. Like AK. <laughs> that's it. What really? Is he a DJ? Is that? Mm-hmm. You kids and your music yeah, yeah. these days. Are you sucking down a drink as we speak? Um, are you Are you at a well, bar? I was trying to, and it kind of leaked out on my fucking thigh. Right. <laughs> of course it did. Are you at a bar right now? <laughs> what bar are you at? Yeah. Uh, oh, what is it what's called? The Something Tavern. The Something Tavern. What the hell? Oh, Sid, uh, Sidmore Tavern. Yeah, just uh. I guess they changed ownership, and just, uh, I've never been here before. Nice. You always uh, tend to go to the nicer bars in L.A., and uh, that's like... Well, I wouldn't call this a nicer bar. No? <laughs> <laughs> no, I call this... Uh, I was driving down the street and went, hey, I'm going to pull over there and get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> that's about how much thought went into it. Nice. <laughs> that's bad. And I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. So, well, uh, I need to eat here as soon as I can feel my fucking face. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> Tell you yeah. what. Hey, wait, I saw some pictures. You went up in some log cabin. Where was the log cabin at? What was that? Oh, yeah. It was up in Big Bear. Big Bear. Okay. And yeah. what, what was that all about? Well, that, that's, we drove up there to go see uh, Johnny in uh, the LA Guns play. Oh, we they playing at the cave. It's a perfect ah. circle. You just made a circle. I did make a perfect circle. Yeah. That's the nice segue. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Jason, oh, I miss yeah. you, bro. Are, are you guys going to the cave? Yeah, we're going to come out there, and uh, we're going to uh, tear it up like what? we do. Me, I, Man, I, 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 I need to come out to L.A. like this in what 2017. What caves are you talking about? 
the big cave. Absolutely. Big big bear cave. Yeah, no. And then the bear, the, the <laughs> then there's a little cub cave, and then uh, mama bear. The mama bear cave. cave. <laughs> That's a big old cave. That you, beaver's wow. Cave, don't they? You yeah. lost in that beaver cave. That's a good one. Okay, well, yeah. uh, smells, like, <laughs> smells like smoke. Uh, thank you out there, uh, California. <laughs> I need uh, a smoky correspondent. Uh, uh, is a West Coast. Oh, yeah, I just saw smoky in the band no. theater. Yeah, how much you is, did. How, how much that? is gas? Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, was, was it? Smoky in the like bandit. 60, oh. Sixty-six cents. What? Wow, that's sixty-six. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's where his like, tone uh, coming in. Thanks for calling in. Hey, man, <laughs> you keep it real yeah, out there, buddy. I miss you. Hey, I'll, yeah, I'll you see rock, you soon. Buddy. Good, always right. good talking to you guys. Have fun. All right, all right. Watch our canard. Making shit happen out there right. in uh, the CA. And uh, that's badass. Uh, so we appreciate the fact you're able to yeah. get a chat uh, with him and uh, kind of coming back from a little thrill. Later, little Walter. Walter. Doing everything that we uh, love to do here. Uh, what is that? That's a shotgun okay. blowing holes up in that's the sky. Horrible. Don't turn it down, motherfucker. That's I'll, horrible. I'm going to come at you. Awkward. Why? Though. Okay. Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> okay. That was a good time. I like talking to, uh, to yeah. the, the Walter Kennard. Well, you were talking to him just like a normal conversation. That's right. <laughs> he was okay. Bounce All right. I don't know what you're doing over hey, there. Hey, man, I'm just you're having just, a good time. That's, that's why I'm here, JB. Like it. If I'm not here for a good time, finally. I'm here for a long time. I don't get it. Oh, wait. That's wrong, too. Yeah. Okay, Bob Google Marley. Google right now. Is it- don't push the button. I just did it so you don't have to. Google. <laughs> We muddle on, uh, and every week I have to say that it's uh, it's important to remember, uh, you know, what's going on around you too, because those are the things that need support. Uh, and, and what's cool is this kind of, uh, uh, you know, that whole body talk uh, uh, movement. Uh, we interviewed Phil Santos a while ago, yes. and again. You know that whole uh, propagating of uh, uh, of talent. Oh, Orlando is just so great for that, and it's got such a big heart. And you know, when you hear about um, you know the tragic stuff like in uh, the oh. UK, it, it's like unfathomable, fathomable, fathomable, yeah, right, unfathomable, Manchester, fathom, fathom, fathomable. Oh. Never mind. Yeah. Don't. Anyway, don't the that. point there is simply that you know America needs to <laughs> really say uh, uh, what's important, you know, and I believe it's each other. You know, it's this uh, it's yeah. this whole caring of a community. And if like you I said before, have a some kind of public outreach or forum or what have divide you to, make, to make things happen. Exactly. It's There's ridiculous. divide. Um, Let's and, unite. And so, like on this episode, sometimes sometimes you know, like uh, we were talking more art, and then later we're going to talk a little bit more music. Uh, Feasting beast. Uh, uh, Marty Grosso yeah. uh, gives us a call, and then we're going to rock into some of that stuff, totally do a little bit of at. news. But um, what I love, man, is that uh, tenacity, like with anything. You know, you recently overcame some challenges, and I got to give you, you know, hats, I have. Off, hats off to you for, for kind of doing that, you know, because there's uh, growing up is, is not easy. Uh, what was it? Uh, I was able to watch the damn uh, Netflix. Uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, I love him. Hold on, why can't I remember his name now? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, from Thirty Rock. Uh, uh, Tracy Morgan got into an accident. No, that's not it. Uh, you know, yeah, that's it. No, I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, that was it. Anyway, uh, oh, what's this? Okay, it sounds like a phone call. WJBW, thanks for calling. Who this be? Hey, driving guy. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for calling us back. He must be on a little break here. Hey, thanks for calling us back, driving guy. How are you? Oh my gosh, is that JB again? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, we never got to ask. <laughs> okay, we never got to ask you where you worked. What is it? UFO what burger? burger? UFO burger. Yes, sir. What? UFO. Uh, basically, it's unidentified flying <laughs> burgers, but uh, they're really good. I've tried one. Okay. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What? Uh, oh, the manager uh, now. It's got to be classic. Hey, you yeah. better be working. Of course he, oh, I right. am, I am. Uh, oh, hey, 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 JB. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I got to be careful. You know, my boss, yeah. uh, I'm calling you on the drive through phone, and I don't want to. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, nothing. Hey. Not with those hey, shoes. No. Well, hey. 
Okay. Thank you, caller. Thank you, driving guy. We love you. That uh, was great, man. All right. Do you notice uh, what happened there? What happened? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> what does that mean? I, I I could not understand the word that you was going have, on. Oh, I was, was uh, you confused. confused. You were confused. I was confused. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, I what was. Else? Um, what else? I um. For sure. Uh, com- uh, uh, Conflicted. Flabbergasted. Okay, you were a little flabber. A I was uh, flabberly gasted. That would make sense. I was <laughs> pouring a little drink that's over a good, here. That's a good uh, word for you. Okay. You want one too? How about uh, one over here? One no, over I'm here. fine. I, no, I, oh. right, just put it right in my mouth at this point. Okay. Just, yeah. Just put okay. that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a, that sounds so bad. Wait, okay. Cut it out. So, hey, I got a, I got a thing for you. What does that mean? Uh, it's a little thing, you know, we call, uh, what? We call a little truce. What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something, and you say whether or not it's true. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. You're yeah, is- stupid. Sure. Okay. Good. So far, so good. You're older. You think compared maybe? to you should know better. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna put you on the spot. What? Not this week. All right. What? What that, are you doing? That, what do you that mean? was. If anything, that what was a tra- little. What are you awkward. getting to? Awkward. What are you getting to? Uh, you know, I'm. I'm not gonna. Ha- what are you I'm not gonna to hash do? it out here. Not. Not in front of everybody. Not not tonight, all right? Well, well you know, you're bringing something up. I'm not sure what, it's, no. what it is, but you're... Come on. What are you no. talking about? It's all, no, I'm what not... What are you talking hey, about? Hey, you know, here? we got another uh, caller sound, calling in. But at, we sound a little... Hold on, I'm hearing that little tinny. Sound it? That it's little, little tinny. It's your, it's your fucked awkward. up thing. Hold on, let's cut it's, that. No, so no, I'm don't cut that. that. Go ahead, cut. Try it. I'm just... What is that sound effect? Slicing that, bologna or some shit? It's called the BT Rev Load. Wow. And then there's the BT make, Rev Gun. Doesn't even make sense. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. All right. So what are you going to do? Is that going to Jamie Ref Show. Jamie Ref Show. No, don't sing the thing. Jamie Ref Show. Why aren't you talking to me? Hey, man. This is good to be back here in the studio. Drinking one down. Yeah. The revolution has begun. I got. I got. From the front line. I got. Army. <laughs> <laughs> dot org. Why'd you stop the uh, army? Army, army? That was that was one of our sponsors, and you right in the middle of the the promo for that you stop yeah, it. Right. Um, that was terrible. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm gonna call I'm him. So sorry. Who are you gonna call? I'm gonna call. When, uh, now, so I'm more interested in what you're saying. I I have a, some kind of transgression. You just can't believe. <laughs> Dude, I'm just I was just trying to make drama for the, oh, the show. There's right? really nothing. There's nothing, to, bro. Come on, dude. Come on. I wouldn't What's, be here if there was something. There a problem? I would, oh. you know, like why you know, I enjoy uh, I enjoy right. coming and uh, shining light on these motherfuckers. Shining the light. Well, you uh, yeah, you light. don't want to talk shine about light, how, what you've been through. Nothing you've been through. You ain't oh. talking about that. Oh. Oh. Okay, all right. That does not make sense. What you doing now? Okay. No, I'll talk about that. Uh, I had surgery last uh, Thursday. Okay. On the back of my neck, I had to okay. have this thing removed. Oh, man. Yeah. It's a pain in my neck, I'll tell you that. Wow. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Zing. Really bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know. Okay. So that happened. That happened. There you go. And, and I've been, uh, you... been kind of stir crazy. This is my Come first. Out. You have glasses first on. First time coming and out. a baseball hat. I got a baseball hat and glasses on. It's true. I'm in, in disguise. I'm cognito. Give me that cigarette. You don't mind. But uh, I'm here. I'm queer. Okay. Get used Come to on. it. Right? Isn't For that, isn't that the, the no, slogan I'm, we came up with? I we have forget. t-shirts for that. JB Rev Show. Oh, we're here. We're queer. I forget what I even asked you now. Queer here. <laughs> Yeah, how am I supposed to? Am I supposed to just John magically? Goodman. John Goodman. Oh man, I love that guy. Uh, from the he, uh, uh, from the Roseanne show. Yeah, yeah. That's who I'm saying. You kind of look like a little bit right now, but in that really? movie, uh, the dude or whatever. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Not that one. 
trains, yeah. Blaine's nope. and automobiles? What's it called? David Blaine trains yeah, and automobiles? Go. Yeah, that's it. David Blaine <laughs> trains <laughs> and automobiles. That's exactly uh, so correct. That's, that's the reboot. Uh, the what? That's the reboot, you know. The reboot. Oh, my gosh. People are calling. People are what calling you. On? Are calling you on see, your phone. Oh, were you going to take a phone call? Let's in see. The, Hello? Oh, Oh, yeah, who's this? This is Alan Bloom. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, oh hey. okay. Oh, oh. Actually, oh, <laughs> he got to be, he got to, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all right. The Reverend should not have uh, answered the phone. Wow, all right. I don't know what that That's where it's at. Sorry, I shouldn't have taken a. Yeah, you shouldn't live. have done that. Yeah, uh, don't man. take a live phone call from live your phone. phone what are you doing? Mm. Don't do that. Anyway, uh, but welcome back, buddy, and I'm hey. glad uh, everything went okay procedurally wise, of course. So right, right. Uh, you know. Anyway, uh, there you go. Four zero seven nine zero six. Nine three two eight. That's two our eight. Uh, nine three two eight studio line. If you want to get a and call, and we if you call us right now, Bob Leamy, what we have a pair of tickets. Uh-huh. To Thank your you. favorite show okay. that you want to see, it's kind of a surprise. Hey, Let's we'll see if uh, I... I'm calling in because Jerry told me to. Uh, what's up? <laughs> hey, oh, see, that's what happens when you uh, when you got friends in low places. Wow, they'll call up and uh, they'll uh, see. They'll hang up. Should we keep that going? That's a good sound. Wow, I didn't think that sound still it's existed. The sound of my shoes. That's still what? <laughs> I love that sound. It's the sound of my shoes. Have you ever heard that song? No. Uh, shoes by uh nope. oh man by Tigger. No. It is some good stuff, okay. bro. Okay. I will you know what? I'm gonna I'll pull it up for you just so you can hear that. Uh I love that sound. What's you that? like that sound? It's uh it's the sound of my shoes. Okay. And it's called here. I'm gonna pull it up. We'll play a little clip from it. Because it uh oh, there we go. A pair of tickets right here. All right, all right, caller. All right, caller. Go ahead. If you uh, got the phrase that pays, you got a pair of tickets. What's that phrase? What, what do you have tickets for? It. That's not the phrase that pays. Sorry, buddy. We had tickets. You too. <laughs> you too, Joshua Tree phrase tickets. You, you just missed out on uh, VIP. I love booty. They were VIP tickets, uh, and you lost completely. What's it? Uh, what? What's the name of the big loser we got online here? Didn't win any tickets. Uh, that would be. That would be JB Webb. Okay. <laughs> that's right. Hello. That's see. Oh, that's, that's, that's the phrase that pays. <laughs> that you are talking to Bob Leamy. Bob Leamy. Bob Leamy Sweat. Leamy Sweat. dot org. That's right. How's the uh, How's the uh, the uh, the uh, website going for you? The Leamy Sweat. dot org working oh, out. It, it already failed. It, oh, it did it already it failed. failed. It failed thirty seconds after I bought it. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry wow. to hear that. I didn't know. I thought you were doing pretty well with that, man. No, 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 no. Well, that's what happens when you uh when you don't sponsor with the JB Rev Show, because that's probably the case. I could be a millionaire by now. By now, I mean, what were you going to do with all those? Uh, you were calling them like uh, panty fresheners, right? You were basically taking those yeah. uh the the little uh, pine fresh uh, pine trees and you were putting them in like uh, oversized granny panties. And what were you calling them, the granny? Well, uh, I forget. You had they a clever were, they name. They were in oversized. They were. They were in thongs, and then we'd uh, what we'd do is take pictures of the the pine tree ends leaking out. So right, be a better. Uh, oh, that fucking sucks. I'm sorry. Oh, never mind. Man, <laughs> I bombed. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were there with with you, man. We were. Okay, we, well. I don't good. know. You're bringing up all of these uh, experiences. But, That's true. Uh, uh, Bob, did you know uh, the Reverend was going through a procedure? The, is this an intervention? Uh, well, yeah. We, I was yeah. concerned yeah. with the fact that uh, I still think he's a man. Okay. No matter what his surgery did. Yep. There you go. <laughs> but, but, but... We, we, we uh, talked about this, Bob. He had the surgery. And my name is Geraldini now. <laughs> Uh, do a big, nice, glory hole at <laughs> any like drug stop he like goes to. Yeah. Oh, man. You know what's up. That's right. Well, Bob Leamy, man, thanks for calling. We'll get that pair of tickets out in the mail for you. What? You still at the same address? Right. I'll be I'll be expecting them. Okay, you're still at the Salvation Army uh, there in, uh, okay. off of uh, wow. Redondo Beach? Wow. No, 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 no. Redondo. I'm down Cocoa Beach under the 528 Bridge. Oh, what? Oh man, you're moving up in the world, buddy. 
Yeah, well, I Damn. want to be closer to the uh, <laughs> What? <laughs> Easy pickings? Is that what? Oh, my God. Uh, tourism uh, is at night, an all-time good high. Good Bob Lee. Good night, Bob. We love you, man. Bob Lee, you rock. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. Uh, mm. Fantastic. I love that guy. That was a good, uh, was a good little session. That guy uh, created a company, really thought he was going to help people. He his, did. Bob, by, uh, just by his sweat, body sweat, sweat bottling it, giving it to people who need the refreshment. It sounded good, didn't it? It was uh, it was a good idea, but like you said, he, he lost money immediately. Yeah, just instantly which, went um, backwards, which, you know, I wouldn't have This should stay on my feet. Is this the song this you were is, talking uh, about? Um, it, where he goes, okay. uh, what's that sound? Hold on. Here you go. Right here. Right here. Listen. Turn it up. Yeah? Right. Right here. What's that sound? I like that sound. I love that sound. It's the sound of my shoes. Sound, sound of my shoes. <laughs> sound of my shoes. Yeah, right. We got another call. Oh shit! All right, hold on. Let me uh, let me bust away to some music. Rev, turn your turn your stuff down there. All right. All right. We'll be right back. Later. WJBW Networks.com, uh, the DJ Rev show. show every oh, week. Talk with brother. talented people. I'm happy we were able to get this lined up. Uh, these guys, uh, uh, now, from what I know, I was introduced uh, to this group called A Fearful Beast. Uh, and we have Marty Grosso uh, on the line with us. Thanks for being able to call in, brother. How the hell are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, man. How are you guys? Uh, doing good. well. Hey, real and quick, it, are you on the speakerphone? Yeah, you want to turn it off? Yeah, please. We should have gone over that. Oh, we, yeah. That was my that fault. That's a, that's oh, a man, pretty, much better. Now you sound like that, housekeeping. that golden god yeah, that we thought you, you were. Go. There you go. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh man, check so, that. So, uh, what we love to do, man, is talk with people and uh, you know learn a little bit about you know what they do, how they're put together. But give us a sense of uh, now, now. Give us a sense of the band, uh, uh, you know, and how you're involved. Um, uh, I think a lot of people. You know, use uh, hardcore music 
you know, to uh, be able to get stuff out that you can't fucking get out. And maybe in today's day and age, it's more relevant than fucking ever. Right. So <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> right? but, yeah, uh, so, so give us a sense of the band, uh, you know, and uh, uh, let's rock and roll. Rock. Sure. I mean, <clears throat> let's see. I started the band when I was, I guess, like you say, 2021. 20, uh, I started writing a record out nice. of my apartment. Um, and it took me a few years to write between, you know, working, going to school, right. studying music as well, you know, and practicing, you know, two to four hours a day myself on my instrument. Okay. And so the first part of it was, uh, I guess, I had already been in bands growing up in a local scene a couple in my teenage years. And I always thought there was like, I guess, I'm not trying to be like too negative, like a lack of initiative right. always when I was in a band. Right, right, and, right. And, um... So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to write my own record. You know, I'm going to write the music and uh, I'm going to take it from there. Yeah. And then when I was like 22, 23, it was pretty much done when I was like 23. Um, just like two and a half years ago, I just I, I took a year to learn how to use Pro Tools and use Pro Tools. And I produced it and edited it and mixed Damn. it and did everything myself and recorded Damn. it. And then um, I was fortunate enough to get in touch with Mark Lewis. Okay. At Audio Hammer, he does like job for a cowboy and White like, chapel and stuff like that. Right. And um, he gave me a few pointers and mastered it for me. So that's pretty much that's the premise of my end of it. Okay. So you you really kind of said, uh, you know, I'm taking this uh, concept and, uh, you know, pushing it forward. Now, I do know on the, the track that we're going to roll into afterwards, uh, Bobby Cobley's, uh, you know, on that w- with uh, y- your group. Now, do you also, uh, it's kind of like a, uh, you know, uh, effort. Who else is in the band? I see Kyle, uh, Hainsky drums, Wesley, uh, Mitchell, uh, who was it? Hono Sanchez. Vocals. And, yeah. and Sean so, Clarkson. Yeah. Ka- yeah. I, I guess I can tell him if you want. Uh, Kyle Hineski is a drummer. Um, you just people that I, uh, I wanted to put a band together, you know, to get this stuff on the live on stage and right. push everything forward. So um, that was that was really passing. I think I went through about maybe at least a hundred musicians, man, more than that really? actually, between all the instruments, all the positions, and everyone was just either like, "Oh, it's awesome," or but "I'm not like I can't play that on the drums or something or whatever." Like you hear every piece in the book, you know, when you're trying to really push forward right. with any they have stuff like anything in life, though. But right, right. um. Yeah, so I got Kyle Hineski on drums, uh, John Sanchez on guitar, we got Sean Clarson on the bass, oh, and excellent. recently we just recruited Wesley Mitchell uh, on vocals. That's excellent. Yeah, that's excellent. So um, it, it, now this is a formation, and again, it's a feasting beast. If I said, uh, what did I say, ferocious or something before? I'm not sure, but uh, correcting uh, no that. It's a, a feasting beast. Um, and, and I guess that whole you know imagery kind of says – uh, it, you know, it's hardcore. Totally. Uh, and uh, you know, the track uh, that Bobby plays on that we're going to play a little bit later. Right, right. Um, uh, really is is really heavy. So, so in saying all that, do you look at this, you know, really as cathartic? I know, uh, according to your Facebook page, it looks like you got something coming up in June, a release. Cathartic. Uh, disc corruption. Uh, and, uh, you know, is that kind of a genesis of uh, uh, of how you've... Uh, are you just riding this? You know, are you, are you happy to kind of uh, keep moving in this direction uh, do you like to explore different types of music as well absolutely you know yeah. um i'll answer that in like a couple of different ways yeah of course i'm going to push forward with this you know right. i'm very vision oriented with where i want to go in fact most of the next records are already written and it's a little more colorful a little more musical in terms of it's cool. so heavy you That's know cool. i don't want right. to i don't want to make a drastic change too right. fast from record to record but i do plan on expanding like record by record you know, nice. I don't have overnight, you know, drastic, like, oh, oh. we're like a completely different band. Yeah. You know? but, <laughs> <laughs> and now here's Lady you know, Gaga. Get, okay, right. <laughs> yeah, but as far as Bobby, I studied under Bobby. I have the, oh, that's the, awesome. The, Bobby the, the pleasure of studying under him because I was like 21 on and off, um, and I'm 26 now. And but before that, I got to study with, um, he's like my older brother, uh, Chris Story from Longshaw Parish. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's totally. I started studying. Yeah, he's like my older brother, man. He's like my older guitar brother. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah. Bobby's like my... Not by yeah. blood. 
And dude, you you yeah, no, no, not literally by blood. No, no, like right. metaphorically speaking. Right by right. spit. Um, yeah. By guitar blood, <laughs> yeah. motherfucker. By spit. Yeah. <laughs> by guitar blood and yes. spit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By guitar blood. Exactly. <laughs> Talking and then as far as yeah. as far as um, everything, as far as like four needs. Yeah. The last year, I've been studying actually with Ryan Knight. Okay. Um, cool. he just listen to Black Dahlia Murder. He, uh, I've been studying bluegrass and jazz really? with him wow. for about a, for about a year now. And um, yeah, it's wow. been very. Um, That's fascinating. Expanding my brain. Yeah. Now, uh, you see, I'm uh, I, I'm encouraging uh, people to, to check out A Feasting Beast. And I'll tell you what, man, because I love the zealousness. I think anytime, you know, we can, and that's what we do here every week, is create this outlet, right, where people can talk about the shit that they're doing and really get <laughs> praise, totally. you know, so and uh, be able to, uh, you know, shine a little bit of the light that, uh, you know, we're all so deserving of. But, dude, I, I, I love the fact that you're uh, tenacious with this. This is our hashtag for real session so uh thank you for being fucking for real and uh uh you know what i want to say is to uh, don't you guys say so in the middle of june uh next month you're releasing uh this full album right right okay awesome mm-hmm. and uh so in awesome. say, you know tell us uh that that's going to come out and then uh we're going to go into this track yeah we are and it is called something i'm having trouble reading uh can you, do that, you know uh, the well, name tell us of about what something i'm, I'm having about? trouble reading that sounds like Reclic- an awesome song reclitrant hold on uh, <laughs> it's all good man it's called recalcitrant recalcitrant that's oh. dope as yeah. hell awesome. okay so what does that mean and give us a little bump into the song i guess Bye. Sure. I mean, that's, that's a great question. I mean, really, the song Recalcitrant, I wrote like 90% of the lyrics as well. So, I mean, I was working with our old vocalist who is on the record who we're, okay. like, we parted ways with. Yeah, nobody likes that guy. Like, okay. Come Fuck on. that guy. And, yeah, well, <laughs> I'm whatever, just you know, <laughs> Best of luck to him, regardless. Yeah. You know. Awkward. But, um, <laughs> the, yeah, the song Recalcitrant is really, I mean, the word means like unyielding or stubborn. Mm. Mm. Okay. And, mm. It's pretty much like what the hardcore scene is and who I am as a person. You know, we're a bunch of stubborn motherfuckers. <laughs> wow. I'm sure JB's going to use that in another question for someone else to confuse him. What? Like, uh, tell me a little bit about the uh, Kirk Kreisker man. Uh, what? Uh, Kirk Don't listen to him. No, we were going to go into this song in a minute or two. Yeah, what's the name of the but, song again? Uh, you're making me feel very recalcitrant. Recalcitrant. So wow. that one time that you were recalcitrant, is... no, what do you okay. really feel about the time you wrote that song? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So it means unyielding. Well, yeah, That's like, even, when you read the lyrics too, man, you'll see. You know, even in the first line, you know, we all come together in order to sustain this erratic scene. That's awesome like opening verse, dude. We were just talking about how people need to come together. And be more unified and be not be so divided. Um, were we not, yeah. JB? About Sorry, like, you know, flat. Yeah. yeah, we were. Yeah, so that's yeah. a nice uh, uh, little glossy segue. Is that okay? You want to go? All right. Well, cool. Perfect well, circle. What I love again too is you mentioned you were doing uh, bluegrass and and stuff like that. Is that that's right? Um, it was. You know, without without kind of busting right into the track, which we'll get to. Um, you know, maybe give us some flavor or, or, or you talk a little bit more to some of those things you said you wanted to do. I mean, do you like, um, you know, the jazz, the blues, the country, the folk, you know, I mean, is, is yeah, it, it, yeah. So, I pretty much like every kind of music, to be honest with you. And once you, once for, once you studied like uh, enough, eventually it was like you have this kind of epiphany where yeah. everything's actually related, like on a scientific basis, musically. Yeah. Like I can sit there and like like I can pull out a concept from Charlie Parker, or, mm-hmm. you know, a death metal band or like Morbid Angel or something, and I, I can find like the exact ingredient they're using in that song and you like see how they're the same thing. Right, right. But it sounds really abstract. It really does to to somebody that's like, Wow, that's crazy. Why would Morbid Angel sound like Charlie Parker or <laughs> But you know, when you break it down, like, rhythmically, like, on a staff, you know, Mm -hmm. it's the same, you know, we're all using the same concepts over and over and over again, to be honest with you, and, you know, a lot of times, you know, we're all just sharing the same concepts in the world of music. Well, I think, too, I like how the the contrast in the one side of the lighter, it will say the, you know, bluegrass or folk side, all the way to the, you know, uh, hardcore metal, yeah, uh, uh, 
you know, there there's that valley in between, right? Um, yeah, big old valley. So, it, it, you know, in saying that, uh, it's it's cool to hear, you know, and maybe that's uh, maybe more the American spirit. Uh, you know, we were talking about people, and we spoke with somebody who was in the army, and we talked, you know, about people. Uh, we, did, you know, you go to a we rich did? person. Uh, well, no, we were saying earlier at the beginning of the show, you oh, know, hey, army. like, would you die for the country? You know, the right. richest motherfuckers on this. <laughs> country would probably be like uh no i would not sir no sir i'm not where is my cheeseburger where is that the salad is horrible oh anyway uh you rock buddy thank yeah. you marty for for doing this um uh JB. what kind yeah, of, of i guess you know talking about that tra- so trajectory kind of a stuff you know um is there stuff outside of music you want to do uh, are you art inclined uh, do you have any other proclivities without sounding creepy <laughs> tell us about um, your proclivities okay uh, you know, I hate to, uh, I mean, Ice fishing, not really. I mean, I'm a complete music nerd on the inside. Okay. <laughs> right on. That's, do you, you know, I like deep. long walks on the deep. beach with my dog. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 All right. <laughs> anyway, talking with Marty Grosso, uh, uh, a feasting beast. Uh, we're going to roll into, oh my God, Recalcitrant. Did I say that right? There you go. And, and there I'm, I'm looking forward uh, to your next song, Thinclicities. Um, that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's been good talking to you, man. I'm listening, uh, enjoying, uh, getting to rock out. Rock and roll. All right, so. here we go. Let's rock. All right. <laughs> Oh, 
Sky Radio Web Show. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. JB Rev Show. Wow. JB W JB Network some shit. Serious. That was that was some serious Man. shit. Those guys are a feasting beast. Uh, and again, here, that's exactly what we do. We wanna we wanna keep uh, pushing forward. Uh, you know, and uh, okay. okay, relax over there. Dude, Jeez. I'm ready. ready I'm ready. Run. I'm just ready now. Where are they playing, dude? I want to go see them right now. Well, they are releasing something middle of June. Relax over there, Rev the Reverend. Feasting beast. I don't know what that was. That's a gun. It felt good. <laughs> uh, like a Smurf gun or something. Yeah, what are you doing now? What are you? All right. Hey, man. I do. I do you listen what? to the show. I do. Uh, a feasting beast. There you go on Facebook. Go Google it. Or go to Facebook. You it. can find out. I guess we shouldn't we say Facebook it? You know, like a Facebook. Can, can you do Facebook it? A bear patches. A bear patches. Sorry, it's loud. Okay. Facebook. <laughs> no. Instead of Google it, Facebook Bad it. Right? That's what they want you to say. Anyway, uh, uh, hey, talking with, I got some. Uh, yeah. You want to? I think what this you, is really funny. You something? I'm going to share something. Okay. Um, Let's talk about so, uh, you know, yeah. Do I you don't. watch? Uh, actually, do you know we had Scott Joseph on here as a guest? Yeah. Right. Of course. And he was a great guest. Right. And um, so recently, a local uh, celebrity chef. By the name of uh, Miss Ashley Nichol. Okay. Right? Yeah. All right. She. Uh, well, I'm with you. So she fun. puts this. I'm going to read this verbatim because. Uh oh. Um, is this a good idea, Papa? You know what's crazy about this whole yeah. thing, though. <laughs> okay. Let's hope it is a good idea. Okay. Either Let's way, it, it needs is. to come out because we still can be. Oh, but we so, wouldn't be like the song said. Uh, they closed Ash. Something. All right. They closed the. Ah, uh, yeah. The okay. Ash, and they're all they're right, saying the they're going to relocate yeah. it. Okay. But um, you know what, Ashley. Probably took it down, knowing her. Because, okay. Uh, why it was do you? Stupid. You're raising a uh, something, but you're not following well, through on it here. This so we had Scott Joseph as a okay. guest, yeah, and yeah. she basically slammed Scott Joseph. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like so I was going to try to read what, what she, she wrote. Said? Oh, this is a Facebook gossip thing. You're trying to churn up trouble there, little, little. Well, you brought it up, and I'm just kind of. Uh, oh, I did. Well, we talked about Facebook, and oh, I want to kind of. I'm yeah. bringing something up. Okay. That right. I don't think you should fucking hash bullshit out on mm. Facebook. Uh-huh. You got a problem with it? You I take agree. it up with the person. I like this. I see this. Right. I think that is the point. Yeah. Uh, so that you're making. And That's now a, uh, it looks like Ashley did take it now. down, which okay. would make deal with the person make sense. But right. I actually took yeah. a picture, a screenshot okay. it, and I sent it to Scott Joseph himself. Okay. And I actually read to you what I wrote to Scott. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you're interested, I thought it was pretty interesting. And uh, you might you know. remind me of a WKRP in Cincinnati. Now you look like Johnny Fever. Okay. So That's a, okay, you I did screenshot it. And I sent it to, okay. to Scott. So that Ashley wrote, "You know what? I have something to say to you, Scott Joseph. I despise oh you. Actually, oh you don't even cross my mind anymore. What? That's why she's writing this because um. she he doesn't cross her, her mind anymore." You are nasty, hateful, bitter, mean, and just plain awful. You're not even pleasant to be around. You're all fake and nice to my face, yet try and completely bash me behind my back. What? You're fake. You're irrelevant, and that bugs you. Funny. People pay to advertise with you, and you're all nice, but then, if not, forget it. If you're going to write an article about me or my business, maybe you should actually talk to me. Sorry, but I have no respect for you, and I never will. Instead of bashing everyone right and left, maybe you should. And wow. it says continue. Reading. Are you doing that? Oh Dude, my god! But I'm why? reading that verbatim. Yeah. All right. So I sent that to uh, Scott, and I was just like, you know, it, it's just it's bullshit. People it's a, need to like. It's a social uh, faux pas that I believe. You, yeah, exactly. You, you are right. Uh, the lack of uh, communication between people. Uh, agreeing on something, talking about something, you know, having a uh, a, a packed over. If you're you going to say all those hateful fucking shit about someone, yeah, why have the you? gut to do it in person or uh, to them, not on your page? You know, okay. like, right. you know what I mean? I mean, so you're riled up about this? Well, just thinking I mean, about it, it's just stupid. I'm not really because everybody yeah. to. Kind of does it. It's like food wars out here. Let me tell you something, JB. You yeah. go on my Facebook, and okay. I don't. 
There's nothing but positive stuff. Okay. Since the time I, I've been on there, I don't like bash anybody. Right. I don't, right, like, right. I don't talk you politics. You don't use it that way. I don't think right. I do either. But sometimes I, I've been sucked I just in. A lot of people I've been sucked do. In. Yeah. I've been sucked in. I have been sucked in a couple in the past. Things, I've been sucked in. Yeah. I did call one person out, but they deserved it and they knew it. Okay. Um, and and they started it, so I just kind of finished it. Well, and I think to the point of this episode, hashtag for real. Uh, you know, that's what you get when you're real. If you right. don't, don't want people to speak their minds, don't tell them to do so and then judge them accordingly, right? That's right. It's like sometimes you have to say, that shit's a trap. <laughs> you know, yeah. don't speak your mind to this particular trap. person. Yeah. You'll never All get right. out of life. Well, anyway. It's true. I God, think, uh, sweat. again, org. there's much more that... Up, it's uh, back up for bid, by the way. They know. It is? Bob oh, just now? Dot org. Okay. It's, it's up. Yes. Oh, well, so tell us about some bad news. Uh, and now, breaking news badly. <laughs> All right, there you go. Breaking news badly. I'll give you some headlines. We're doing like three things at once. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go Orlando Fringe outdoor stage uh, comedy going on tonight, I think, right now for free. Where's out that there? Uh, extra uh, noise Lock Haven from? Park. Uh, Lock Haven Park. That's uh, right. There's a little track rolling in the background. Is that on you? Yeah, yeah that's right? on me. Oh, yeah. that is totally on you, bro. Nine. I, I'm not even going to read this one. You Why? Know what? My better. Uh, nine decapitated animals uh, found in the no, dude. Come on. Investigators. Next. Said. Okay. Come on. We're not girl. talking about dead animals, bro. Okay. Well, that's why I said well, it was why did you even Dunder Mifflin start? office paper really does exist. Uh, you can does. buy it at quill.com. It's I love all the office. It's one of my favorite shows ever. Uh, Dunder hey, Mifflin paper, the news. last run of it. Yeah. We got to do it. Like, you know, let's hear the news story. Oh, I forget Don't. what that source is or whatever. White supremacist. So you're already on to the next one? Converts wait, 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 to wait. Islam, then all kills right, neo-Nazi pals for JB, disrespecting JB, look his at new faith. Look at me. Jamie, no yeah. one can you, come in. Look at me. Yes. If we're gonna look, yeah. you, okay. If we're gonna do these stories. Let's do it so we can hear what you're saying, and then like you know, if I'm gonna say something, rebuttal. Don't go on to the oh, next one, and so you can't. Look, okay. you're already on three There's more so stories. Many. Yeah, I just got through them all. But uh, oh, let me. I, I can Dude, throw it up there now. Hold I want. On. Oh my Hold god. On, there we go. Okay, we got that. Here back. we go. There we go. Okay. Let's do this cooperatively. So, uh, like, so yeah. there's volunteers need to smoke marijuana for medical study. Yeah. So well, that's is that uh, all the story? Oh, then you can click on it. Oh, so you got all these stories. Okay, I see what's going on here. Volunteers needed to smoke medical marijuana uh, for, a medical, or for study. a medical study. Hold on. Smoke marijuana for a medical study. Ah. This is uh, May 22nd, 2017. I, I cannot do that. Local10.com. I couldn't even uh, do that because... Uh, Washington State University. That's not... Uh, it's not legal here. 30 bucks an hour. In Florida. <laughs> 30, wait, not, volunteers th- who take part in the study will be paid $30 an hour for the first bucks? hour with an extra $10 for each additional hour of Every participation. Hour on the hour, you so get 30 that, bucks. They come up to you with a $30 bill, and they're like, here you go. Good job. Keep smoking, buddy. Mm-hmm. Here's another $30 bill. Right? Is that how it goes? It's crazy. It is crazy. But you have hey, to JB, constantly be smoking it, like, for the whole doing? hour? He's so cute. Right? Like, is it you for the whole... Do, you, you have to be smoking it Jamie's wearing time. a scarf, everybody. I want everybody is to know. It, Why do you wear that scarf? Besides it, the fashion. Is, my, is it the sweat no catcher? It, no, it's no. a sweat catcher, isn't it? No, I just wear it when you, I'm in the studio so I can become this no, uh, character. I've seen it's you, a magic I've thing. Seen I have you to have on, these shoes on and this and this uh, cardigan sweater. I've seen you on the streets. In this chocolate pudding right here. Chocolate pudding. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice uh, uh, nice scarf, though. You uh, got it around your neck there. Uh, thank you. It's red. Yeah, it's Isn't great. that a sign for something like you, uh, yeah, your it, bottom boy? It's a color. No, red bottom boy. I don't think so. I'm a bottom power bottom. You, but we were talking power about this boy. article, and now we're <laughs> now you're just making fun of oh, me. Okay, I'm <laughs> okay. Do you want? <laughs> it's a, you, you set yourself uh, up. Jack I mean, Lilane, oh, fitness Jack. guru, dies at 96. Oh, again. Learn ten of his habits. Huh? Well, yeah, again. How to die? The Daily Beast. Dot com. That is a beast. What is it? That daily. Daily. Get Shit. used to waking up early. I like how you are checking your uh, your credit sources now because before it was all fake news when it came to the dirty news doing bad. Don't things. skip the cardio. Don't do it because uh, eat twice a day. These are tips. No meat either. Fish a dead guy. is pretty much the only animal. Lane eight. Dead guy tips. Number two. Kick the sugar habit, baby. 
kick that sugar baby. Stop cooking everything, motherfucker. Don't cook it. Eat it raw. Make sure it tastes bad. If it don't taste good, it's not tasty. Don't believe the vitamins are all hype, hype. Lelaine filled his diet with vitamin supplements, 40 to 50 of them. Oh, once man. Told Larry King. 40 to 50. Exercise the whole body. Not just the and part. number 10 is weed. Smoke the weed. No, uh, uh, no matter who you are, you've got to work out. Work out. There work you go. out with the weed. Okay. So that was one story. <laughs> was that good? I wish I didn't have asthma because maybe I would try the marijuana. Uh-huh. But uh, I didn't know. Chris Cornell have passed away. Yeah. All God right. rest his soul. I'm moving on. Yes, do that. WashingtonPost.com. Uh, uh-huh. After Chris Cornell's death, only Eddie Vedder. I is thought we were moving on. Yeah, only Eddie we Vedder is rap. left. I, we, uh, that's, yeah. Anyways, what do you think of that? I think uh, next story. Oh, all right. Yeah, Grave right. Diggers. One eight hundred. Okay. Don't even. No, you no, no, hear no, this? no, no, no. I don't. Okay. <laughs> no, keep going. Let's get uh, out of the deck. Helen's back and she's hornier uh, than ever. Ooh, Helen. Who? Helen. You want to play dig dog ditch? No. I'm gonna play a dig dong in my ditch. Oh come on! I don't want to. Stay What? What? I don't want to hear. Fly your okay. <laughs> What is that? And who is Helen? I don't know how that was a story. Who is? Yeah, I don't uh, even know who Helen is, what? or nor do I want to know. Jackfruit could save the world from hunger. Uh-huh. This is Facebook.com. The large fruit could save the world from hunger. Oh, uh, look, we only have three minutes. Jackfruit, the largest tree-born fruit on Be- the planet. Because we're streaming. What? Uh, because we're streaming live, uh-huh. we only have four and a half minutes. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? What you talking about? Hey, man, I'll tell you what. You know what I like most about you? What's that, baby? It's not your breath. That's great. I'll give you more uh, hints what it's not. Look at it. Oh, okay. It's not your It's looks. a video. Uh, Ten pounds. Are, right, it's yeah, definitely yeah, not yeah, your yeah. personality. There you go. Share that out there. Um, do you yeah. want to know what I, it is I like about you? I do. I'm, awesome. Yes, I do. I'm trying to break it down. Sometimes I don't listen to some of our podcasts. <laughs> it's true. I do. What? I, Awkward. I've been living the American dream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Hola, Chico. Button boy. What's up? What? Take get, a rid of of that. Get, get rid of that. All right. Yeah. Get so uh, pull up the Alan Clark uh, thing that I see there. Okay, Alan Clark. Oh, yeah. So I have. A, all right. So let me. So uh, read show this. You, Let's talk about this. You, actually, let me show you the cast. Because huh, this is actually a so, good story about. Uh, so <laughs> I'll read it. Um, wow. So tonight I went and saw one of my favorite bands. This is uh, by Alan Clark, who is a a long time. Um, resident of Orlando, he's yeah. been a local legend. He does here. important work. Yes, he does. Uh, and he's so also a very the, huge supporter of the music and art. Absolutely, scene and, yeah. he and he huge. always pays he's for huge. his tickets too. He's huge. He he's been on multiple guest lists, but he always does pay for his ticket to support the band. All right, Alan That's Clark. one thing There's about the bio so, of him. Yeah. So he wrote. Uh, so uh, tonight, uh, I went and saw my favorite bands and friends. Great music at the end of the night. It was about one twenty, one thirty. I tried to use the bathroom. I was told no and turned away. Quite upsetting. Uh, I was there supporting the band and celebrating a daughter's birthday. I lashed out uh, in an employee, and I cussed and was... You can't move it when I'm reading it. Sorry. And I was escorted out of... I was escorted I was, out. A friend tried to reason. I cursed after a night such my heart filled with anger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I got was, home. I peed. If you felt my anger, I had peed. Fuck I got home. Who keeps you from peeing? Wow. Okay, wow. You really uh, took that and fucked it all up, JB. I'm sorry. I was okay, actually go ahead. reading it. Go ahead. And then go you ahead. finished reading it. I'm sorry. In any event, uh, he tried to use the bathroom at the end of the night, and they said no and kicked him out. All right? So it was like 1.30 at the, at, you know, uh, and, you know, after drinking high-priced drinks there all night, uh, before you get in a car and have to drive home, you know, sometimes you got to use the bathroom, and to not be able to do that—that's bullshit. And it happens a lot, right? At, well, at these venues, why and do they cut it off then? Because it's getting close to two. They don't want you I mean, because they want to go home. It doesn't make sense. They don't give a fuck. That's why, basically. Well. And you know, it's getting—it's. Uh, but I will say this because I saw Joseph did a, a little. Joseph Martin's did a rebuttal on this. If you scroll okay. down, right. and he's talking about you know, it's kind of like you know when you go downtown, it's kind of what you expect, especially you know the cesspool that downtown has become. You know, I I know I only go downtown for certain like special events, especially if they're on the weekend. 
um, because there's a lot of fucking, you know, shit you got to deal with. So needless to say, you know, downtown is just, uh, it's not a safe place to go. And it's the, the venues are, you know, encouraging the, the bullshit. So, yeah, but drop, I guess what mind. just dropped? Oh, anyway, well, Anyways, so, but it's it's, it's 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 again that social uh, faux pas kind of a thing. Uh, you know, you get into a situation where uh, your basic human rights you can't, uh, you know, freely be able to release your your bowels in a particular place, and uh, yeah, that sucks. That sucks like hell. But yeah. I I don't understand that policy. Anyway, uh, there you go. Open conversation. That's why we're all about. Yeah. Uh, you know, being able to talk about stuff. So there you go. Uh, what do you got next? Do you want anything next? Man, that's it. Let's, uh, you know, this has been a good show. We talked to some people. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. I'm just, I had to vent there for a second because, you okay. know, this weekend, you yeah. know, it was Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, and it the is. The Summer of Love is going on. There you go. Um, you know, Kimball, Dave Canalti. Where's that? Indie bar? Uh, it's at Ibar. Ibar? Um, Stay Space is flying in for it. She's uh, hosting. Oh, that's uh, great. Chris Fortier is also going to be DJing. Going to be lighting my voice. Uh, yeah. What are you doing this Chris weekend? Fortier. Are you going to be going? Uh, we have a uh, younger uh, a younger grandchild. Yeah. As a twer. Right. Coming over, so I'll I'll borrow your pool as in. Okay. No, you won't. I'll be there. Uh, All right, I'll just kind of let myself in the back. Yeah. Uh, flash mob at Portland School celebrates importance of uh, was that PE? Yeah. Was that physical education? That's what it is. Uh, flash mob. So a bunch of little kids. I thought this was interesting. This is uh, KGW dot com. <laughs> <laughs> ganging up and do a flash mob. It's in Portland. There you go. All nice. Right. Okay. All right. So where are those kitties at? We need Hold to hear a little key. Meow, Charles, meow, Buk- meow, uh, Charles, Charles Bukowski. Bukowski's top, top 10 top. tips for living a kick-ass life. Yeah. Just click on that because I do love me some Charles okay, Bukowski. Let's go There's not many books that I've read, but I have read yeah. like three Charles Bukowski books. Here, let's pull them up so I can read them. I'll read them with fucking the, the passion that they deserve to be read in because you'll just be like, uh, and what? And then we come And Come I'd be on. like, first of all, number one, if you want to leave, you got to do a user sign. Okay, what's the number one? Don't settle. Yeah, okay. Wait, no, that's an advertisement. Okay, love yourself. Duh. Uh... Live life to its fullest, duh. I mean, come on, this is just brilliant. <laughs> the top ten thing: uh, be your own unique self and shamelessly express it in all you do. Hello, I mean, this is just this one like, you miss. This, don't fear pain without it; you can't experience happiness. Oh my god, I've been in so much pain in my pain, life. So you're on the way to happiness, I've got Rev. Pain in my neck right you're now. You're stronger than you think. Don't fear death. Hello, come on, bring on the death. Have confidence, have confidence in yourself. In yourself? No, that's mine. There's much more worse things than loneliness. Yeah, life happens. Wait, there is? There are much Don't worse? always take it so seriously. That's right. That's, that's true. Ten. Okay. All right, let's wrap this. Where are the kitties at? I want to hear them kitties being meow, meow, meow. That way, that's my cue to get uh, out of here. Ending with Cyclops Goat is real and wonderful. Immashable.com. Cyclops Goat. Uh, let's throw that up there for you. Okay, there he is. There you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is that? No. Okay, Cyclops goat. There you go. Okay. So, uh, there you go. <laughs> thank you, Rev. Uh, yeah, as man. always, we want to encourage you to support uh, PocusHottest.com. P O C A P O C A H O W T E S T dot com. Shannon Holt Arts, Modern Art Army, John Music Art. Movement, Art Army. Dana Johnson. Dana Johnson at uh, Stella Luca. That's right. Uh, Ear Theater. I will say uh, those guys are trying to do something again. They're always doing something. Anyway. I love those guys. We're not telling you what to do, but uh, keep Let's supporting. Do it now. But keep supporting. I love you, JB. Thanks for having Thank me tonight. Thank you. It's good being here, buddy. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Uh, let me find something to bust away. Give me a kiss. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Not now. Yeah.
Satan Touch Home Alarm System. Satan Touch Home Alarm System. We'll have our certified team come out and draw a pentagram on your living room floor and then cover it with an ancient rug. Those spirits that will be gnawing on your soul will also protect your human form. Never worry again about a break-in. Any thief, these demons will kick their ass. It's Satan Touch Alarm System for your home. It's Satan Touch Home Alarm System. WJBW. Orlando, Florida. The first quasi-radio web show. Wow. Yeah. 